In this rapid digital extra, we get Rapid Media's design and production team and open boat expert, Beth Kennedy, to give us tips on our offside forward stroke. All right, so working on offside strokes, I'm gonna start by developing some momentum in a circle to my onside and get a little speed up. And then I'm gonna to transition to my offside by using a forward stroke and a stern draw while my boat is tilted. So forward stroke, stern draw, transition smoothly over to the offside. Keeping your boat on a nice steady edge while you're on your offside helps a lot. Keep your paddle blade in the water so that you can fully control the boat. So when my paddle's recovering up to the bow of the boat, it's helping me stay on my offside circle. I'm using a sitting up motion with my shoulders to propel the boat forward on my offside. And it's important too to keep the paddle blade a little bit away from the hull so it doesn't feel too trippy. So we're gonna make a transition now back to our onside. And what we're gonna do is do a cross forward stroke followed by a cross forward stern draw while we're on edge to initiate the turn to my onside. And then paddle forward on the onside. So this flat water drill is actually really tiring and uh, it's best to do it in intervals just so that you don't injure yourself or wear yourself out. So set yourself up to do it for a few seconds at a time and then take a good break and try it again. So after practicing on flat water, it's really important that people start to use their offside stroke in moving water. So even little holes that you'd normally just paddle by, pillow rocks, little things like that, uh, encourage yourself to go into them and force yourself to exit on your offside so that you get really comfortable using it in current.